All right. Now let's measure the variability and how we calculate uh, variance and standard deviation from raw data. It turns out we have two different ways to do it. We have what's called a computational formula and a non-computational formula. Figure out which one you like and choose the best one, and uh, they both should get you the exact same uh, answer. Remember, in the notes I pointed out the difference between a variance and standard deviation. It's just this square root. Remember, if it's variance, you just take get rid of this square root right here. That's the exact same formula. That's the variance. Okay. If you want standard deviation, you square root it. So I'm just going to calculate the standard deviations, but on our way, we're going to get variance. Okay, so let's do it for each of these formulas. Again, this data is from the lesson. It's only five data points here, two, four, five, one, three. That's five raw scores. The first thing we do is we put them in a column. Sorry, not export yet. Our raw score column, two, four, five, one, three. Let's do this first formula right up here first. Again, the numerator says we want the raw scores minus the mean. Well, we don't have the mean, so that's the first thing we got to do is calculate the mean. Remember how to calculate the mean, right? Uh, x bar equals uh, the sum of x over n. So we have to sum the x here. We sum these x, and it comes out to 15. And we know the sample size is 5. So 15 divided by 5, the mean is 3. Okay, now it says raw scores minus the mean. So we have to make this raw score minus the mean column like this. And we're going to do that. So it's just 2 minus 3, negative 1. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. 1 minus 3, negative 2. And 3 minus 3, 0. All right, so we have our raw scores minus the mean. Now it says to square them, please. So we're going to make a little column here. This is called the deviation score right here. It deviates around the mean. It also is represented sometimes by little cursive x. Okay? So you have little cursive x right here and little cursive x squared right here. So now what we're going to do is square these values. One to, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 1, 4, 4, 0. So we have those values. Now it says to sum them up. And we're going to add them up. 8, 9, 10. So the sum of x minus x bar squared equals 10. So we're going to put 10 right in here. And we know our sample size is 5. 5 minus 4. I'm sorry. 5 minus 1 is 4. So that means we have this value, which is going to be a 2.5. And what is 2.5? It's the variance. So if I asked you to solve for variance, you'd stop right here, and 2.5 would be the answer. But we asked to solve for standard deviation, so we're just going to take the square root of this, and the square root is 1.58. That's the solution there. So this is one way to solve for the raw score standard deviation. You deal with negative numbers, and that freaks people out sometimes, to tell you the truth. This is another version. Let's do this one instead. I'll do this one in red. So on this one it says, let's start here, sum of x squared. Well, we don't have any x squared, so we've got to make an x squared column. We're just going to take all the x's and square. 2 times 2 is 4, 16, 25, 1, and 9. And then it says sum all those up. Well, we're going to sum all the x squares. And when we sum all the x squares, they come up to 55. So there you go. I'm going to put 55 right there. And then it says the sum of x's. Well, we already had the sum of x's. That was 15. We got that before. Now we got to square that. So 15 times 15 is 225. And we have to divide that by n, the sample size, which is 5. Again, the sample size is 5 right there. So if we do this, this is 55 minus 45 over 4. Guess what? 10 over 4. That's our 2.5 again, and our 1.5 would get exactly the same answer to that problem. Doing it two different ways. Uh, you make the call which is easier for you. You don't have to calculate the mean in the second formula, but you can do it easier either way. Either way. Two examples, computational, non-computational formulas for solving standard deviation or variance 
of raw data. 